Well, g'day, g'day everyone, and welcome back. You're, of course, with Huey in our continuing saga of Titan Smallers in our Battletech Extended Commander's Edition mod campaign let's play. And in the last episode, we, uh, we tried to rescue Lord Madeira, although that didn't really work out too well for us. Um, because, well, Lord Madeira was taken elsewhere, apparently. So, <clears throat> yes, we will miss his, uh, you know, rather sexy voice. And, <laughs> at least for the time being. Um, but yeah, we'll be starting off this episode by having a bit of a chat with the crew, because it looks like they do have some things to say on the matter. And, uh, knocking over a few contracts. So we'll try and step up the speed in which we, uh, knock out these story missions. Because, um, I believe we've only got a year until... Uh, 3028. So, a little over a year, but, um, which, uh, some of you may know, uh, what that may entail. So, things being stepped up, uh, and yes, this mod, um, apparently makes, uh, very good use of the timeline. So, yeah, and I thought, you know, doing uh, the campaign first and knocking out some flashpoints, you know, uh, going through it like that, it may get us that, by the time we, we finish all the flashpoints, uh, well, hopefully finish all the flashpoints, I mean, I won't be uh, aiming, at, unlike my first playthrough where I was just showcasing flashpoints, I probably won't be aiming to do flashpoints for everyone. Um, for obvious reasons, um, I'll try and stick, you know, be more true to um, Connor's persona. Um, do a few jobs, of course, you know, here and there for uh, some of the lesser liked houses, but you know, that's all about the bottom line, really. Um, but I won't be doing uh, the um, house specific. What do you call them? The, uh, the super hard uh, flashpoints where you get uh, the, the alliance flashpoints, that's right. Sorry. I had to think of that on that for a second. But anyway, that's enough of me waffling on. Let's go have a chat with Darius. I'm all ears, Commander. Connor, tell me what I can do for you. Got it to be straight. How lately do you think is we're going to get Lord Madeira back? Back at all? There's a chance. He's a person of quality and a member of House House Madeira. And that makes him a valuable it makes him valuable as a bargaining chip. Getting him back in one piece though? Well that's a different story. We both know how the director treats his prisoners. I don't know, Connor. I hope that Alexander is alive and well. And that they're treating him as decently as we treated Victoria Espinosa when we had her locked in the Argos brig. But after the way after hearing the way she hit him over the comms, I'm afraid that's distant hope. I want to be wrong, but we need to be realistic about who we're dealing with. So just a quick pause on that. <clears throat> um, the last mission we did, uh, I don't know if it was the mod or if uh, there were some changes to the vanilla game, but the mission was changed up quite a bit um, from, you know, if you go back to my first campaign series, uh, Let's Play, you'll see that the missions are, are radically different. And I don't know how I feel about the changes. Um, I um, the original mission was much harder. Um, so, and but that, having said that, I did prefer the challenge. I personally thought that that mission, other than the time constraints, uh, the way the the mission, the changes made to that mission, I felt were a little too easy. But that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you think of the changes, by the way. Alright. <clears throat> we both heard, heard what uh, Victoria's father met had her do. We know what she's capable of. Yeah, we do. In her mind, she thinks she murdered those people for a cause. You heard how her old man put it. I think she really bought into uh, bought I think she really bought that she had to do this. And the reach would 
uh, get totally overrun if she didn't. That's not an excuse, mind you. That's just contact. Concept. Ah, context. Lady Victoria. The Lady Victoria we heard in that recording didn't want to kill for killing's sake. She needed a reason to pull the trigger on the, uh, the Petition Massacre. But the Victoria we're seeing today, the one who's already committed that kind of slaughter, I think she's capable of anything. A flawed the Madeira doesn't make it. We've got more than one friend to avenge. Yeah, another name on a list that's already too damn long. He's a mercenary. Feels strange saying this. But the war can't end soon enough. I get why you're coming from Darius. Yeah, no sweat, Connor. Alright, anything else? No, that'll do it for now. Alright, so, uh, um, while we're going through the list, I can't remember, did I check the uh, XP? I think I did. I hear you. Yeah, I did. I did. So, let's go have a chat with Yang and see what he has to say. You need some work done, Commander? Hey again, boss. What's up? The director has Lord Madeira. What do you think we should do? What well, we are doing. Yet the evidence Lady Gallus sent us after to the Torians. And get them the hell out of this war. Until we've done that, there's no getting Lord Madeira back. To be honest, there's probably no getting him back at all. But we can't even think about it until the Torians have, de have been dealt with. This insurance policy is everything Lady Gallus said it'd be, and it does what we hope it'll do. Our position on the board will change. We'll have the leverage that we'll have leverage that we don't have now. Maybe we'll get him back. Maybe. For what it's worth, I hope we do. Well, thanks a lot. I'll be here if you need it. Okay, Pharaoh. <clears throat> What's on your mind? Commander Stewart, what's up? You did a good job breaking the encryption on the evidence. Thank you, Commander. Like I said, it wasn't easy, but I'm glad it worked out. It's crazy to think that this war could be over soon. With the Torians off our backs, it shouldn't take long for us to move on Coromadea. I want you to know that I'm not going anywhere after this is all over. Lady Arano may have assigned me to this ship. But I'm not here to serve her. I'm here for the Argo. Wherever this ship goes, wherever you wind up taking her, I want to be part of it. This ship is my baby, and I won't abandon her. You can count on that. Alright. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later. Keep safe, boss. Samiri. How can I be of service, Commander? That bastard poisoned my pe people. Espinosa. He murdered 11,000 Torians to sign a damn treaty. I already had plenty of reasons to hate him, but now... Now I'm going to spit on his grave. I'd like to talk about what we saw in Lord Madeira's evidence. Yeah, me too. Specifically, I'd like to have a nice, long chat about it with Protector Calderon. And I'd like to watch him hunt uh, Director Espinosa down. That monster committed mass murder and petition. Yet 11,000 of my people poisoned to death and let the Federation, the Federated Sons take the blame. There's a special place in hell for people like Espinosa. With luck, we'll get help to send him there. Well, I, I completely understand. You take it easy, okay? I'll be here if you need me. Alright. So, the uh, contracts we have. Uh, so... Back to Itrum. Let's work for the pirates, so could be good for us. Um, do we head to Tealon? See Regan Directorate. Nah, we probably. I don't think it's worth it. All right, we'll head back to Itrum then. Oops. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Um, yeah, back to Itrim we go. Do we take it as is? You know, I think we might. 
Calculating course now, Commander. <clears throat> I could have got some more rep though, but that's fine. Job's done, Commander. Alright, great. So the grasshopper is an even bigger death machine than it was previously. Set that. Happy birthday. You bump into Lord Daki in the corridor and notice he is in unusually high spirits. What's new? You ask him. Lord Daki grins. I don't want to make too big a deal out of this, but today's my birthday. So just carrying on the uh, poor acting tradition there with the <laughs> Lord, Lord Daki's voice actor. Uh, we're going to throw him a party. Ooh, that brings us up to 50 um, morale, which is awesome. That evening, you invite Lord Daki to a small party in the lounge. The senior staff and a few mech warriors in attendance. You say some flattering things about him. The general acclaim summons Lord Daki to rise and give a speech. After a couple of hours of food, music, and light drinking, the party starts breaking up and everyone wanders off in a pleasant mood. Later that evening, you find a thank you note from Lord Daki on the door of your personal quarters. Apparently, your gesture meant the world to him. And he's got high spirits, so that's going to be awesome. But yes, it's, uh, we're finally up to maximum morale. And bonuses, we didn't have to spend any extra money to get there. This is why I never spend extra funds on uh, getting our morale up to maximum. Because you can do it quite easily, just with events and uh, ship upgrades. <clears throat> so... Yes, anyway. Let's continue on our journey. Get the uh, medical uh, med bay completed. We may as well uh, spend a day to uh, get that uh, done when we get there. Anyway, the Argo's command deck begins shaking again. I can't stand this anymore, Samiri says. This has been happening every two and a half hours like clockwork. Makes me want to break something. Every 2.4 hours to be precise. Dr. Murad's tone is infuri infuriatingly reasonable. And only why the Argo is under thrust. Samiri flashes you an exasperated look. Why can't we get this fixed? After 17 seconds, the shaking stops right on schedule. Alright, we may as well spend the uh, money. Finally recalibrate the rot rotation controls. Um, <laughs> not that we need it, but anyway. The morning briefing begins on a high note. <clears throat> Dr. Murad, I believe you finally have some good news for me. Grim satisfaction, she agrees. Yes, I've been waiting for the final structural reinforcement work to be done before recalibrating the rotation controllers. With your go-ahead, I can take care of it today. Ninety minutes later, Dr. Murad calls up from engineering. I've restarted the pod rotation controller, and that will quell the problem indefinitely. And there's no risk of damage? You ask her. No risk, she says. I finally feel like I'm getting to know this old bird, quirks and all. Excellent. Keep the ship in shape, as I say. <laughs> That's a Ulysses 31 reference for anyone who ever watched that show. Uh, not yet. We're going to um, have a look at the hiring hall, because it does change from time to time. But before we do that... Boom. Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. There's a med bay. Um, and so we're going to spend a butt-ton of money. Hey finally get a hospital sure thing it'll take a bit but we'll get it done yes we are getting ourselves a hospital on the ship complete with uh, doctors nurses and uh, you know games and entertainment and everything so uh, the hiring hall has nobody for us which is about what I expected but that's okay anyway let's launch the contract And, uh, yep, bringing back in the Grasshopper. This is just such an awesome mech right now. And, of course, Decker is a welcome return. Let's deploy. Go. 
gotta say, putting Lord Daki in that uh, awesome was definitely uh, a good decision. Especially with his uh, cool and vent ability. I was thinking of glitch, but then... You know, I know she's got breaching shot, but that actually comes in handy with uh, her multi-targeting. I mean, pretty rare. It's, it's not that common that she does it, but it can come in, come in handy. Alright. So we're up against the Canopians. And uh, Darius is about the matter. I'm surprised they want to take the key first. I wish you'd take as a covert operative. So, recovery mission, three skull. Not sure if we'll have an optional objective. Oh yeah, we'd like you to recover the key and the operative. Okay, sometimes the operative gets killed. So even that, even though it says recover the key and the operative, you, you don't always get the uh, bonus objective. So let's see. Command interface initiated. Damn, Commander. I just got an update from our employer. The operative's dead. It's dead, Jim. How do they know? We just got here. Apparently they had some kind of device that started stealing when the heart stopped. They left the key on the automated broadcast loop though, so we can still make the pickup. Would have remaked this region and uh, the key will be uploaded to it automatically. Keep that mech intact until you reach the extraction LZ, or Samiri will pick you up. Good luck, Commander. So, yeah, like I said, sometimes the operative gets killed, and sometimes they don't. So, it looks like there's only one way in at, over that rough terrain. Oh, goody. Well, maybe not. Uh, could go around it. You know what? I think we just try and burn straight through it. No sweat. Because why not? We have a 75 ton over right there. Interesting. Copy that. Fifty tonner, let's reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. Let's, let's keep reserving. Okay. What's up, boss? Oh, I can get a view on him. Okay. That's. I thought I saw a clear shot, but no. Nah. It's probably the best right there. Lifting off. I was gonna go for the 75 tonner, but okay, we got an Ostrock, a uh, Hunchback 4N. That's a different, another variant again. We will not use the uh, precision strike. Firing. At least not just yet. Oh, and Orion K. Nice. Engaging jump jets. Okay, I will now use the precision strike. No, no, I won't. No, I won't. Let's just keep up with the, uh, keep the pressure on. In fact, I'm gonna do a multi target. Uh,. Yeah, actually I'm going to do it on these two. So I'm going to go one over here, one over here. And fire. Engaging multiple targets. Good hit. Damage. Lucky hit. Lucky hit for the Ostrop. So Commander. good for us. So come on. I hear you. Jeez. All right. Moving to position. So what does that four in have? I'm actually uh, AC five. Eh. 
cause a few problems. Two LRM5s, that's interesting. Don't know why you'd do that, but okay. He's got Bulwark, he doesn't, but he... Actually, he's not in cover. Why doesn't it show up as in cover? That's interesting. Let's, uh, let's knock off that AC-10 if we can. Yeah. Time to die. Oh. Unlucky. Okay, so that's why their initiative uh, phases were waiting for orders. A little uh, earlier than usual. Uh huh. So I'm gonna do a couple of. Uh, I don't want to do a breaching shot. I just want to slow this guy down. Line him up, and I'll shoot him down, Commander. Okay. Waiting for orders. I want to get in closer. Which means a jump. Jump into cover? Yeah, right there. Jump jet. Okay, let's see what we can do. You're no longer guarded, so... <clears throat> I oh, not quite. Critical hit, Commander. Here we go. Oh, he's stressed. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, you should have a precision strike, because... Still a bit too far out, though, aren't we? That's okay. Let's, uh... We'll get that AC-10 off. No need to tell me twice. Very imperative. Got it. There we go. There's more where that came from. Waiting on you, Commander. And we could cause another injury. Moving out. So let's multi-target. Be on you. It's a knockdown. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Not so scary now, are ya? <laughs> No, I don't want to... Ugh. 
what do I do here? <clears throat> okay. I could do that, but the Ostrock will probably... jump. Nope, that's not a good move. That's a better move. I copy. Let's do this. Injury scored a critical hit and a knockdown. So who's the bigger threat? Probably the Ostrock, actually. Um, could we cop a back hit? That is the question. chances to hit. Not great. No, we'll go over here, I think. Go for the uh, Orion. Another injury. He's pretty much toast. So, yeah. He's still got his melee though, but... That's okay. Where's that Ostrog? I can't hit him from there. Why can't... Wait a minute, why can't I hit him? Um, it's very strange. You know what? I'm going to stay right there. I'm going to hit him with everything. Actually, no, we're not. I'm going to do that. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. There we go. That worked. I hear ya. Alright, we'll deal with that Ostrock in a minute. But first... To a multi target. Um, wait, I should have done it the other way, shouldn't I? So, hit on that, and yep, I'll do that. Ooh, a head hit. Nice. Worked beautifully. Shut up, Ryland, you... you had a perfect opportunity on the grasshopper. I don't know why they don't take that. Like, 
Oh. Perfect opportunity. Orders? Yeah, go punch him. Roger that. Putting my weight into it. That hit something good. It's all strokes and nothing to scoff at, I gotta say. So you know what we're gonna do? It's time. It's time. <laughs> Come on, we gotta do it. I mean, it's a Highlander. We have to do it. Warning. Leg damage imminent. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Time for the stalker to come in. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Everything. Did you see that? Did you see it? I always see it. We're just gonna go for a move. Need to get his, uh, fix his stability up a bit. Okay. Uh huh. And yeah, we'll send Decker in. Confirmed. I don't think we'll get reinforcements, but you never know. That's it, Commander. The mech has the keyboard. Get out of there immediately and keep that mech alive. I'm on station and ready to make the pickup whenever you are, boss. The asset has been oh! And okay, I'll come get you now. Ah, <laughs> oh, that DFA was awesome. Hey, at least we had one that worked. All right, good job, good job there, Titan and the uh, Highlander. What do they want? Orion, Ostrock, Wolverine, and they're willing to offer Starcourt Enhance Com System. Seven of them. Okay. Uh, okay, so we can refuse, accept, or dispute. So dispute, you pay 28,900 sea bills and legal fees and have 68% keep with disputed salvage. And the salvage pool gains 1 to 6 from the compensation offer. 32% to lose the disputed salvage and additional 1 to 6 selections. You know what, we're going to try and dispute just because it's a different mechanic. Here we go. Clause 193 of the negotiated mercenary contact clearly states... Your lawyer definitely defended your claim to the MRB. You keep your salvage and gain the following compensation items. Ha 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 ha. And we don't lose the rep, which is an even bigger bonus. So. Ostrock. I can't remember which one we have. Hang on. Uh, what do we... I wish it could tell us which one we did have. Okay, so the 2L. Alright, we'll try and grab that. And uh, what else do we get? We're all plus three accuracy. Eh. Okay. And look at all these comm systems. Jeez. <laughs> uh, whatever. We'll grab a plus three accuracy large laser. Then fine. So we actually got uh, the Hunchback and Wolverine part, we got a bunch of these, we got four of those large lasers, none of the comm systems, which I'm not too upset by. Yeah, 
Yeah, the death and brother was pretty cool. It was as if he like flew through the air and just like side kicked him in the, in the guts. <laughs> Um, so the two L variant. Uh, all right, we'll grab that. Continue. So that means because this is a little quicker doing it this way. So we go to selling. Uh, I'll drop down here two L. Yep, it's a new variant. Made the right call there. So we have the two C and the two L. We don't have any double. Oh, we do have a double up. We got a trebuchet. Oh, well, sell that, and uh, that'll do us. Nice little bonus on top of what we just made, and uh, this should be a little bit cheaper. Yeah, it's sixteen percent increase. That's a lot better than it was. Um, there's a whole victor there. Oh my god. Okay. Large laser triple plus? Oh, what's this? Uh, nah. Um, yeah, that could be good. I'm actually, you know what, they, these are actually quite common later on, usually. Three melee hit, no. So I want to take advantage of this uh, slightly cheaper price while we can. A TTS ballistic. Uh, I think we've only got the Highlander with the Ballistic at the moment. Um, okay, the Large Laser Triple Plus could be a good addition, so I'm going to grab that. New weapon systems available. And... Oh, Cyclops 10Z. They're a good mech, but 14 million? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Will be good to have because your entire lance gets uh, an initiative bonus, a permanent one. But anyway, let's go to the mech bay first. So I did want to check something actually. So the awesome already has a large laser triple plus, but it's good to know we have a spare. It's very good to know we have a spare. Would like to PPC. Uh, with bonus damage, but you you know, you take what you can get. So that's fine. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, our mech warriors. Uh, don't have enough to spend, I don't think. Maybe Lord Ducky does. Lord Ducky does, okay. S I hear sounds ya. weird. Oh. Uh, okay, so Glitch is uh, really Later. caught up. Um. Yeah, give us the, ah, indirect fire is going to be very handy in the Stalker, so yes, yeah, definitely grab that. And uh, Decker, nothing yet. Alright, so how long have we been going for? Alright, we'll uh, see if we can do another mission. So, we'll have to forward the timeline though, of course. So I want to max out all these mech, war mech warriors. Mech warriors, uh, if possible. And let's see, words hurt, uh, Torian governor, unknown cause, territorial claims, let's just destroy base, four skull. You know what, we should, I'm going to try a four skull. We're, we're going for it. It's going to be tough, but we're going for it. Max salvage, thank you. It's going to be very tough. Well, it should be tough. I'm not, it isn't always, so... <clears throat> Sometimes those skull ratings can be very misleading. Or just flat out wrong, in my humble opinion. I mean, it goes by tonnage, so... If we're up against, you know, things like... Uh, what's it, the Banshee 3E? 3S is a different story, but 3E, I think, I believe it is. Then it's pretty easy. But if we're up against king crabs or atlases, <laughs> then it's a very different story. All right, the Torian Manufacturing Facility on Itrum is an illegal intrusion into our territory and a cover for military personnel and units. Our efforts to resolve this through diplomatic channels have been rebuffed. Well, it is against the Torians, so... So we're now turning to a military solution. The facility must be destroyed. 
We should expect heavy resistance. The Rhino Restoration isn't saying what's in that facility, but whatever it is, uh, it has them riled up. I bet it does. Command interface initiated. The target is the nearby Torian base. Assault the base and destroy enough of it to force the Torians to abandon the location. You should expect strong opposition on this one. Be wary, Commander. Oliver out. Yes, yeah, so this whole planet could use an air conditioner. Shut up, dude. Okay, so this is gonna be tough because as soon as we get close, we're gonna get reinforcements. And this is tough uh this is very tough terrain. Okay. So I'll try not to get caught down here. And the biome makes it tough as well. On my way. Moving out. Don't want to get too far ahead. Let's do something like this. Uh huh. There's the enemy contact. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Moving out. It's a sixty ton. 70 and 45 so far. That's so far. Okay, that's it. Maybe the reinforcements will have something a bit tougher. Oh, they're moving in. Alright. Alright, just unleash on this thing, whatever it is. It's our first target. That is a grasshopper. Well, I guess we could try. Uh, we could try and knock it down, or because we're front on. I mean, yeah, we've got a better chance. What's the uh, armor like there? Okay, we've got no, next to no chance of knocking it down this turn. So, headshot it is. Here we go. Very close. Oh, so close. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> God damn it. But the good news is they've already acted, so yeah, there is that. Target acquired. Good to go. Moving out. A reduced indirect fire penalty was very, very handy. Finally, Lord Daki, or you can do a sprint. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Don't want to leave ourselves open. You. So I'm going to head around here and try for another headshot. Aye, aye. Here we go. Firing on target. That's what we needed. Very good. Tango down. You're gonna reserve, are ya? Well, they're gonna just keep doing it. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna jump. Yeah. Jump and missiles. I finally get hit too much with um, <clears throat> ballistic weapons. Let's 
quick draw, okay. Oh, I struck, huh? Sprint in. Pedal to the metal. Draws backing off. Okay, suits me. I hear ya. Coordinates received. And we'll just pepper you. Here's a bit Here of pepper. I said it before I say it again, that AMS is great. Waiting for orders. Yeah, we're gonna have to sprint in. Confirmed. Be very careful though. That turret there. You know what? Hmm. Maybe not. I think we can manage the heat. So we can hide from that turret a bit. We got Phoenix Hawk, okay. Slow him down a bit. Yeah, heat's a bit. I think we core him out. <clears throat> Safe option. Definitely. Enemy mech destroyed. How are you doing, dude? Alright, we'll go for the Phoenix Hawk then. He's a good pilot. Waiting on you, Commander. Cannot hit him. Well, that sucks, but that's what we gotta do. Go in turbo. So we're going to reserve till Lord Daki has a turn. Reserving action. Got it. That's fine. I hear you. All weapons are go. And a critical hit. Thank you very much. Should have run when you had the chance. Here. Orders. Mm. Do 
be very careful that okay so I think if I jump there that turret can't get a shot on us I think I hope <laughs> so let's face this way just in case it, it can and then we're gonna knock him over I copy or at least try to. Reporting critical hit. Ooh, two missiles actually hit. If I go there, they might. That turret might get a shot on me, but that's okay. It's indirect fire. Hmm. Let's turn that off. Okay. So that'll be two injuries. Target's taken a critical hit. And I'm gonna hang right there. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh damn. Okay. What can um Ooh. It's not good. i go for a shot. Um, let's turn that off. That's very weak. That's very weak. So, hang on. Here we are, 58. That worked. Enemy mech destroyed. And you're done. For now. Good to go. Hmm. Let's see, I think. Yeah. Okay, these two are gonna start running around this way. Double time! On you, Commander. Okay, there. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Standing by. It's running a little hot. <clears throat> Okay. Might have to. Uh, nah. Let's do this. Just hope for the best. Hang on. Yeah, same number of evasion chevrons, so that's fine. Firing jump jet. Yeah, heavy defended turret. It's going to be hard to take down. Taking the shot. Just inside range. Too hot, which uh, these run pretty hot, so I hear ya. Hmm. 
Don't need to tell me twice. I'm showing minor damage. What can I do for you? Thank goodness we have an awesome. Tell me what to shoot. Gotcha. And they can no longer see us. Waiting for my opening. Holding for the right opportunity. Okay. Which? What can I do for you? Get in there. So taking out that turret. You betcha. Another tough one. I hear ya. No, you'll have to sprint. Pedal to the metal. And you two you can spend a turn cooling down. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Holding for So we'll slowly advantage. get these two in there. Which will give what can I do for you? These two a chance to cool down. Oh, you're kidding! All right. Waiting for orders. Let's get glitch up there. Just keep slowly damaging it. <clears throat> Tell me what to do. Waiting on you, Commander. So we are no doubt going to get reinforcements. Spend another turn cooling down. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. What's up, boss? Perfect. And in we go. Jumping. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. There's that strong opposition, Commander. Watch yourself and don't get flanked. So, heavy defender turret, heavy defender turret. Lots of them. Now, the reinforcements, uh, I don't know where they are, but let's get rid of this thing. Oh, okay. Not what I expected, but okay. Let's get rid of it quickly. Sprint, you need to go over there. Going turbo. I hear you. Uh huh. Quickly knock down a few buildings on the way. <clears throat> Got a medium, a medium. Let's take that tower down, actually. Special delivery. Enemy structure damage, Commander. Yes, Commander. Okay. 
Okay, that tear can see me there. That one. Let's hmm. reserve. Seventy tonner incoming. We won't need that many. What do I need forty? Uh, SRM sixes should take care of that, shouldn't they? Hope so. Wow, that was that was a medium and only had a hundred. That's two down. Good to go. All right, now I start peppering the uh, turrets. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Good to go. You know what? I'm just gonna jump. So I can still keep vision on them. Affirmative. Gonna jump and brace. Waiting on you, Commander. Moving to position. Very nice. Waiting for the shot. Wow, it hit me. Minimal damage on that hit. All right, so we got to move in. Um, Multi target. Engaging multiple targets. Ouch. Okay. What can I do for you? Running out of alarms. <laughs> dear oh dear. Coordinates received. Overkill. Let's. Save some heat. No problem. I've got enough guns for everyone. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. So Thunderbolt. And this guy, Guillotine. 
Let's resolve. Waiting for the right move. Now yeah, they're pretty good shot. I gotta say. What can I do for you? Can't get those guys. Right, commander. It's disappointing. Try and just get rid of this turret as quickly as we can. Copy that. Locked on target. Here comes the fifty five tonner. Might be a dervish or a barely hit Kentaro. Um, sure. Waiting for orders. Can't quite get the small lasers into into the mix. No. So I might as well head into cover. Come on. Roger that. On it. Ugh. Okay, we gotta get him out of there. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Engaging jump jets. Hmm. Not good, not good. Target destroyed. It's turrets down. You'll be right. Because now. Well, we all know about the Thunderbolt's shortcomings. Commencing Alpha Strike. I hear you. May have to turn off a, yep, a large laser, medium laser, that should do it, and yeah, you're very weak. So, he's hoping. Affirmative. And he's down. And stay down. Just uh, sprint, dude. <clears throat> That's all you can do. Acknowledged. Oh, that was a bit painful. Well, we've got the resolve. We may as well try it. That's <clears throat> ah, all good. What can I do for you? All right. We turn that one off. Oh, yep, yeah. that's fine. Roger that. Firing on target. Want some more? Huh? 
Waiting for orders. You'll need to get some evasion up, so not many missiles left. Affirmative. Yep, two salvos for all of the LRMs anyway, so that's fine. You can go for a headshot though, so we may as well. All weapons are go. Critical hit. Nice. Very nice. Straight up, Dick is just gonna go there. Try this again. Why not? Actually. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. May as well just Got do it. that. Target eliminated. And a sprint. We're gonna go sprinting. Sprint. Dervish, as I thought. Good effort. Good to go. I don't think I can. I can get a shot. Cool. Very hot, but that's okay. Acknowledge. Did make him unsettled, so that's good. Did get a head hit, which is nice. Detected. Good to go. <clears throat> All right, last salvo. Coordinates received. Or last LRM salvo. Affirmative. You're pretty foobard, dude. Command. See ya. That <laughs> was good timing. Commander, the air has been cleared. Oh my god. How easy was that? Whatever. Um, <laughs> and that was our four skull mission. No assaults, though. Very disappointed in that. So, but a lot of. Um, a, a very nice pick of decent salvage. A full grasshopper there, if we want it. Ooh, plus 10 damage la large laser. Yeah, but you know what? <clears throat> These are worth a pretty penny. Could I put together two grasshoppers? Sure, but... Uh, I like to mix it up a bit. We'll have, a, you know, a few variants... Here and there. Oh, a 4D Ostsol. Okay. Oh, we've got the uh, plus 3 accuracy. Do I really need it with this? Uh, these Macquarie skill level? I don't think so. <clears throat> oh, shift click to sell. I just saw that pop up before. So. That's interesting. Anyway. Bloody 
run his contract to liberate uh, House Parada and deal with the Espinosa's dropship fleet is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think we're ready. Yeah. Alright, let's get ourselves a grasshopper. So, uh, for sale, now let's have a quick look and see where this contract is. Oh, it's right over there. Okay. Well, that's where we'll be heading next time. Um, but for now, let's check out Maglorious first. We also have to do some repairs. Um, oh, maxed out. Of course, we will play use these Maglorious right through the end. And then we'll start rotating our roster. <clears throat> you know, because we are, you know, telling a story. Commander? That's my logic. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, take our orders. Yep. Uh, what do you want? Indirect? Yeah, I guess. That's going to come in handy a bit more. Although, he doesn't have a cockpit mod. Mm, safe. Uh, it's not really the safer option, but I think it's going to be a bit more handy for him. Um, okay. And then repairs. Make those. Yep, repair that. Thanks. Performed admirably. Um, Alright, so yeah, we did go a little bit over with this episode in terms of time. But, you know, it's a case of damned if you do and damned if you don't. So, in the next episode, since we don't have uh, much to do here, we've got, yeah, three and a half skull and uh, three skull, we may as well head straight on to Liberation Teelon in the next episode. So, I hope you can join us for that. And I hope you've been uh, enjoying the series so far. If you have been, and in particular with this video, uh, consider subscribing and uh, hitting that like button as it would really, really help the channel, and I would appreciate it. Um, but uh, until next time, folks, this uh, is Huey signing off, and we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, everyone, and bye for now.